Well, hello, hello, hello. Mail call. I got. I told you guys I was going to come back from this trip to a ton of mail or packages, and I was. I couldn't even get it in my desk because I was blockaded by the boxes. Because there's these things, two boxes, three envelopes, and a larger box. Not a huge one by HSN standards, but a larger box. All from Craft Day, except for this one. This is my scrapbooking made simple. So I'm going to save it for last. Because, or depending on how long this goes, it might become its own video. So we will see. Um, but let's start with, you know what? I'm going to set these aside first. Let's ditch the big box because then I can use it as target practice for the rest of the boxes. <laughs> I know that this makes up make total sense in this Mad Scrapper's mind. And you guys are just going to laugh at me and that's okay. Um, and it's heavy. So there's a nice chunk of my craft day order is here. I knew I, I got the alerts that they had been delivered while I was in Lake Tahoe. So, and I told you guys that was going to be the way of things that it was going to get here and I wasn't going to be here to receive them, but that's okay. Cause guys, I really had an amazing time in, in, in Tahoe with my girls. I mean, you guys saw that snippet of me being, you know, like totally a maniac with the snow falling on me. Cause that's like, you know, like, Whoa! but for somebody who, you know, I'm a California girl born, I mean, not born. But raised here, you know, um, I, snow is like I've gone and visited and petted it, but never been in it when it falls. So for us, it was just for me, it was so exciting. So anyway, so we have all of these goodies. This is all from craft day. So there's like, there's five, five of my items are in here, supposedly. So let's see. One, two, three. Yep. Here it is four. Actually, maybe I misread that list because there's another one here. So right here is five. And then there's this box. Oh, yeah, because see, there's the other packing slip. So there we go. So six, because I know there is part of this is craft day, a couple of auto ships. I think one of those auto ships may be one that I forgot to turn off, but I won't know. So hang on a second. Let's let the box take flight. Fry, my pretty fly. It didn't land very gracefully. So hold on a second, because I do want to use it for target practice, because I'm crazy that way. There we go. Don't throw boxes. It's the cat. Oh, you're no fun. The cat can get over it. <laughs> Actually, Elvis is, he's the most skittish cat ever. You crumple a piece of paper and he almost jumps out of his fur. It's, it's just funny. But did you hear that guys? That was the peanut gallery home from work on the recliner on the other side of me. <gasps> Peace still my giddy heart. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see. Okay. This is diamond press. This is easily identifiable by the little type that says DP. This is the die kit you are. So oh, this is were those words. If anybody was watching crafty, these, these were really, they're large word dies and they were very, very cool. So they were definitely on the list of, they made the cut. Although I really, I mean, it was <coughs> not hard to, rule things out for me this time it was like you know I had a better time and I think I was pretty spot on for what I could say yeah that can wait for the next one because I think just about everything I say yeah that can wait for me to see if it comes down um are still there I'm pretty sure I was pretty spot on this time and that doesn't always work out that way for me so these are the word dies so let me Pull these out. I really need more of those envelopes from it. Although this one might fit in the smaller one. I have several of the smaller ones still. But we shall see. Oh, this thing with the dies is because of the tape. They stay stuck. But you will see, you have dies. So you are so. And I think they have it in two. No, it's just the one. So it's you are so. Of course, here's another folder to add to the collection. And then they have all of these really cool words. So you are so fun. So brave, so loved. Let me put it up. So I'm not knowing a reason. It's bad enough to read them backwards without trying to read them backwards and upside down. I'm not that good. So thoughtful, so resilient, amazing, delightful, sweet. Can you see? I haven't checked my camera angle. Yes, it is. Okay. I can even probably tighten it in just a little bit. We'll see. And we'll come down here. So we'll, I'll remember to bring it down. So, I mean, you have all of these words. Amazing. This one I'm pretty sure is maybe... You are, or this is you are so all written together. Let me take it back. So let me see what we, yes. So we're looking at the paper. We have you are so separately and then all together. So they're all together. And these are all of the words. So we have kind. I didn't even see that one yet. So where did we lose kind? 
where is oh right here so again so it has all of these words see how look at that look at so these i mean this i really wanted to get this because in my brain i'm wanting to challenge myself to do some more ink different ink techniques that i don't do because i'm a coward <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I admit it. I have the stuff there to do it, and that's as far as I get. But I thought it would. These kind of dyes would lend itself to that. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting all choked up over my cowardice. There you go. See. But so we got these. I just really, really liked them from the moment I saw um, Beth Kingston do them, and of course, then we have the Miss Divine VNA, who really seals the deal with anything I get from Diamond Press. I will take Beth's teas and then I go and wait for VNA's review. And that always seals the deal with me for stuff either. It seals it whichever way direction I decide to take with it, whether, you know, because you can't get everything. You, you just can't. I mean, I may be maniacal, but I do have to eat, you know, and it would be great, you know, I can have all of this stuff and then be homeless and where am I going to keep it? <laughs> you know, there are limits. This is, I don't know what it is. Okay, this is the Anna Griffin, the 3D baroque dyes these were very cool is that pick? okay there's nothing in there so let's see no can we make target practice they don't these envelopes do not float well at all it just pfft. no they're like a bad paper airplane and trust me i can do a bad i'm i do terrible paper airplanes so these were the broke they they look and you know i have been like ah, hot and cold about getting all her but this one after watching it, I really, really liked it, and it was in a different shape. So I said, okay, these I'm going to bite. So, I mean, and these are, I'm kind of really glad I bit because I have a lot of, of, of the flowers. I mean, look at that. Look, I have the swag and cut and emboss. So I don't, I don't, I'm positive I do not have this embellishment the way it is, but I've got the cut and emboss folder, you know, that will do that. So, I mean, that is so pretty. Look at that with teal. Just, you know, putting pointing it out that that was, that's teal to me. Anyway, to my little, you know, eyes. So, I mean, she always gives the instructions on how to use this with the Empress, which, of course, I have. So, this, this is really, really pretty. These are, I mean, I, let me show you the paper, but they are, wow. They are pretty detailed. They are really, really pretty. So, yeah, this is, this was, I'm glad. That's why I relented on this one to get this one. And I think, I don't think the, was this a new, the Baroque? I think this is one of the auto ships. So I've got to go check it out because if you, you know what, I'm going to check the auto ships and I'm going to do that as a video. So I want you guys to see how I go through the auto ships in case you guys don't know anybody that does HSN in the auto ships, doesn't know about how to do it. I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll get on it tomorrow and get it out this week, but do that video for you guys to show you how to deal with auto ships. So that way you don't get caught and getting stuff like, oh no, I don't like that one. Because it's they if you if you return something from HSN and use their label, they charge you eight bucks shipping. I never, when I return stuff, never ever use their labels. I return it on my dime. Because I can usually return it for definitely less than five bucks, usually in the three or four dollar range, because I don't crazy pack it the way they do. I would tend to like if it came like this envelope, if I didn't want it, I would seal it back up and send it right back in this envelope. There's no reason to be packing it in the big old box. So that's how I get away sending it back. So that's word for the wise is to use their pack. You know, don't use their, the, um, this here, I'll show you. I have one, right? Let's see. Where is one? Don't I have one? Ah, I can't find it. Anyway, they give you a label. They give you a label, you just stick it on there and you can ship it back, but it's going to cost you. So don't do that. Go to the post office and pay it for you pay it yourself. You'll, you'll be, it'll be less painful. And this is, what is this? Oh, this is Anna Griffin, the petal and leaf cardstock, which tells you what's coming. Cause I did get the rose die. There was two rose dies she had this time around. One was the auto ship. And then the other one was the one that goes with the kit, the um, the bouquet kit that you had to have. I opted for the rose, the um, the the run, the several rose plates. VNA did a video, I think today, on it. I've already commented on it. I'm going to link you down below because she did an excellent, excellent demo, and way better than I would ever do um, on this. But I went ahead and ordered the paper. 
because it was, you know, and you know, it was cheap enough that I could live with it. And dude, this is pretty good paper. I mean, not like, ah, but good enough. So it, it's the papers that go work with her, the, the way she has it set up. Although I suspect, oh my gosh, you'll have to excuse me. I have to sniff the paper because it just came wafted to me. Oh my gosh. I love the smell of, of, of scrapbooking paper. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like, to me, it's like puppy breath. I think if they could bottle puppy breath, oh my gosh, they'd make millions off of me. I'd be bankrupt because I love puppy breath and I love the smell of scrapbooking paper. So here are all the colors for the palettes for how she does them. So I went ahead and got the paper, although I'm sure I can make do with what I have or, or pretty close to what I have. I'm not even going to try to put this all away. I'll put the, the little card away in there and we'll try to do the paper later because this video is going to be long enough with all the stuff I got. And wait a minute, I didn't send this card box fly. So let's, well, we'll save the tissue paper, but we're going to, because we're a maniac. Let's see. Two points. Ah, didn't make the mid free throw guys, but we're not done yet. There is a couple of boxes still. So the, the tape is young. The video is young. We might make it. What is this? This is H-M-A-R-22-10. Right. I have no idea. So let's open up the surprise and see what it is. See, isn't this Amazon tool the coolest? I love this thing. It is the best. It is. Oh, this was the um, the cross, the ornate cross create a card. I had to play any mini miny mo with these, and I was set to get the bunny because it was Easter. And but I wasn't. You know when you 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 okay? I want to really get that, but I wasn't feeling the bunny. It was just it just didn't scream by me. I was gonna get it purely because it was bunny and Easter, and I thought I needed a choir, and I go, you know what, a cross is Easter too. When you think about it, Easter is not about the bunnies and Easter candy and baskets and all that stuff. So, and I like this one oh so much better. So I made the decision, you know, I, I let my, I'm literally, I let my heart tell me what to do, and my heart said, get the cross, don't get the bunny. So that's what I did, and let me see, let me, ah, hold on a second, let me get, oh, what the heck, I can just, who cares on this one? I will just, ah, oh, it wasn't that bad. Okay. I was, I really literally was going to pause and go find the undo because it's still in my backpack because I took that with me to do cards. And I think I literally made three cards the entire time, <laughs> but I had good intentions just saying, but here is, so it'll make, it's great for an A2, but that's really pretty because you have, I mean, here's the card back. Then this whole, this is one piece. These four corners, that's another piece. You have the outside and then the inner cross and then the little, is it a starburst or a flower? I'm not sure what the bloom and blazes it is. I don't because you can see it here in the picture. You can see it used there and I'm, I don't know. And, and then you have the little flourish coming out of both sides, which is really, really cool. So this would make, and I love how they did it as an easel car. Oh, you know what? Look, look at the easel car. It's the stopper. It's the stopper for the easel car. So I, I, I can see, I can see doing that. And I'm realizing that I'm still out of angle. So I apologize for all the times I've been out of angle. Um, I can see doing that. So I really like this. So I'm really, I'm really happy with this choice. I'm so happy that I'm already going to cut the flap off of this. We're just going to go, no, we're going to go crazy AR because, you know, I am the mad scrapper. You guys expect nothing less than insane lunacy from me. And if you're not, you don't know me very well, do you? <laughs> there we go. So, but see, it was so much easier. And now I have a lovely straight line and my OCD is happy. <laughs> there we go. Womp. Next. What is next? What is, this is now item H dash M A R 22 number dash 37. I still don't know what it is, but it's big. I'm almost afraid because anything this big that's this flat is a die. God help me. What is it? It is, oh my God, God, no kidding. Wow. This is big. These are the box. These are, I mean, this one, I think I have to actually pull out a little bit. Let me pull out a little bit, guys, so you can actually see it. This is, whoops, here, hang on a second. I'm apologize. You're going to get dizzy there for a second. And let me move here this way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, this is the, um, the 3D box, the dimensionals, the shadow box. I got the slimline because I did not want to get 
the A2 because it was awful small and to do a shadow box you want to add stuff to it and it, it just to me seemed too small to do anything significant. So my first choice was the 5x7 that I never caught up with and I'm going to keep an eye on it. I may acquire it. There's been a, a lot of buzz on the uh, Crafters Companion page about what it fits. My The last thing, the last posting I read and I saw it yesterday. I still have to go and watch uh, the video that was done yesterday. I think it was Craig that was gonna was doing yesterday um, a video about using these. And my understanding is if you have the standard, the standard Gemini, and I have both the standard Gemini and then the Junior, you can run all any one of them will run through the standard. You don't need the Pro because there's been a lot of get backing and forthing about which one you need. So, but because I was in doubt and because I was never able to catch up with the flipping um, A7, the excuse me, the yeah, the A7, because that's what a 5 by 7 is, it's an A7, um, I went for the slimline. So I have, and I'm not unhappy because it's just, it's just different. So I may, you know, make an attempt at snagging later. I'll watch for like a little sale. See, if I at first I got to check and see if it comes in, but this is going to be a keeper. I've decided no matter what. Because it gives me more real estate to add things to. So let me pull this out. Just so you guys see, it's like, holy crud. Wow. It's, <laughs> okay, they give you a few dies. So when people complain about, and I've seen a lot of buzz about how expensive it was, um, you get a lot of bang for this buck, in my personal opinion. Okay, this is just me understand that amongst other things I can justify anything given enough time and this was my allowable big ticket item on this sale thank you flex pay um, but this is literally the die that cuts the box so it's one single die and yes I know it will fit through the plates of my regular Gemini in fact give me a second I'll show you okay I'm back with my plates these are the plates the large plates for the regular Gemini so let's just try it on for size. So I'm not even going to take it out, but see, look, correct. If you have the regular Gemini and you have the large plates, and I bought my regular Gemini way early. I probably it's the biggest, the first purchase I did while for HSM at the beginning of the pandemic of 2020. That's how long I've had mine. And um, and there it is. So you can run it if you have the regular size, the 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 lar or the large. Let me turn it this way so you can actually see it better then you can run it through your standard Gemini. It's not going to fit your junior. I can tell you that for sure. But it will fit your regular size Gemini. So in my case, that works. Because so that was my fear. And I kept looking, but I could see nothing that said pro only. And then I had already ordered it. And then I saw the buzz going back and forth on the uh, Crafters uh, HSN fans of Crafters Companion. And so you have, and these are, so it was cool. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to trust everybody saying it, that I've gotten it already. Because I was reading this while I was away in Tahoe. I knew my box was sitting here, but I wasn't. So these are all of the insets, too, that you can put on the side of your, so you can do all kinds of little effects. Like see here, you can see the filigree here. All of these are little cut-ins that you can do in your box seat, like that one, and that's, a different one, isn't it? Or is that the same one as this one? It's the same one as this one. So, again, different things. You have the butterflies. It's not like, I don't have any butterfly dies at all. <laughs> right. But the, so you have, it. Give, and then these little corners as well, as well. And they did the one, I wonder if I can do this, um, one that was demoed with the A2, which was actually really cool, which almost justifies the A2, is one of the items that they showed on the samples was where they took four of the shadow boxes of a, the A2 size and made one large frame. All, put the glued them all together, which was really, really, really cool. But you still have, no, wait, there's more. You still have all of these dies that do, you know, do these little, these right here. All of these little pieces here. So it is crazy, crazy versatile. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit it. This is like, whoa. I'm like, this is really, really cool. So I am not unhappy in the very least. It wasn't the cheapest thing I have ever bought. It is not the most expensive thing I ever bought. 
but I am definitely jazzed about it. Can I run this through? Can I get this through here? No, it's too big. I'll worry about cutting this flap off later. And uh, you guys don't need to see that. But yes, that's how I'm going to do it. I have no intentions of taking scissors to this. And I know I just saw a little instruction sheet. Because I know it came with, what did I do with it? Is it floating? Did I? Oh, there it is. It did float to the floor. So it does come with an instruction sheet that shows you how to put it, more or less to put it together. And it's pretty tiny. And my gosh, I have old eyes. But be that as it may, there's a ton of videos. Guys, if you've got it just and if not i'll try to link you i may i'll link you to that video i'm talking about that i saw that i know um crafters companion did for this so if i can find it i will link it in the description below so that you guys have a frame of reference and well and needless to say i will play with this as well and it will be a great it will be the great comedy of uh, seeing me put this thing together lord have mercy okay put that away and we will move right along because I have more boxes to open. So this is a box. Ah, this is the pop-up bouquet finishing school craft box. So somehow I missed this last year, but I did. And I was on the auto ships, I thought, for all of the finishing school. So and this isn't on my auto ship for because I'm doing finishing school. I signed up for it in January. So I'm not sure where in the land this lay, you know, lay that I missed it, but that's okay. I have it now and I will do, it will be probably, finishing school would probably be the only card kits I will do for, with Anna. I, because I have too many. I truly, truly, truly do. It's okay. Let's try this again, guys. Let's see. Two points. Not quite. But that was because I had interference with the printer. So I'm going to call interference my football me mixed with, you know, messed with my basketball. But I don't know if you were watching it. These are, these are so, so amazingly cool. And I've been trying to stay away from the pop-ups because I already have the poinsettia, the flower, and the tree. And it's like I told Steve, how many pop-ups do you need, can you do? There, there truly, truly is a limit. So I went ahead, but I did get this because they were so, so absolutely, unbelievably cool. So you have the instructions to how to do them. And I'm going to put my finger there because it, that's a code that I'm not going to share with them because I don't think that's right. But you can see that they, you know, you can decorate the outside and they give you the pieces to do this. And I agree with Anna. She said that you should coordinate your pieces on the outside which what with what the inside is i'm gonna bring it in actually i can now kind of come in here a little bit um but you want to coordinate the the front with the inside but it's amazing this is something i haven't even done carte noir yet so we might see a little bit of anna griffin this week because if nothing else so that i can put things away <laughs> I'm surrounded. I feel like, you know, it, it, it's like an invasion and I'm come surrounded on all flanks. But let's, but let me show you real quick. So you have, oh, so see the card, the cards themselves come imprinted. I used to try to keep these and yeah, no, I used to try to keep this all wrapped up and pretty like that. And we're not even going to try that anymore. But those are the card fronts. So then you open it up here and you're able to put all of your gumaflachis. Your, here it is. Here are your centers. Let me pull this out a little bit out of order. But you put your card center, and this is where you adhere all of your floral pieces, which look look at that. I did not know they came this way, which is so they're like cutouts. So let's, you know, in little fits and bits. I'm not going like, Whoa, but there you go. So these are the inserts. So you can see. So it looks like there's three of each. But, oh my God, I, that one is striking, really. So is it three or four? But it doesn't matter. It's just in the corners, and you don't want it to overpower it because you want the flowers, really, to do all the talking in this. And these are obviously envelopes. You guys have seen envelopes. There's nothing exciting about envelopes. But let's go back to the cards. So you have, I think it's like, what, two? It looks like three of each. But, wow. Wow. Anna, you know, there, you, God, look how beautiful. 
well, how beautiful these card fronts are already printed. So all you can do is add a little couple of more embellishments, you know, some butterflies. These are gorgeous. Absolutely. There is, these are gotta be the prettiest card fronts I have ever seen her do. Wow. This is half the job. I mean, then all you have to do is decorate the inside. So now I will go this way. Cause that's why they did, they did them upside down so that you can, they lie a little bit flatter, but these are breathtakingly gorgeous. I'm just like, wow, this is like straight from an Audubon book. I swear that it just what it makes me think of. And the Audubon is illustrations that are just so amazing. And then we have the flowers. So each sheet is literally that you don't have to guess at how to do this. The sheets take the guesswork. You know that all of these go together. So, I mean, wow. Aren't these amazing? <sighs> look at the next one. I haven't even finished looking at this one. Are these, I believe they are, see? And they're, look, so they pop out and even the little pieces. So it's, look at that. You see how it, pop, oh my goodness. So you have little pieces. So they really, they, you know, they add that realistic look. They're not completely flat. So you, these are amazing. Look, oh my gosh, God, look how gorgeous. <sighs> She's going to kill me. She's going to be the death. This woman is going to be the death of me. I swear. Because I don't think I have ever seen her do such beautifully, in my opinion, illustrated flowers. I'm going to be not hard-pressed to make the cards. I'm going to be hard-pressed to give them away. Look how look how beautiful these are. So it, I, it looks like it's three of each, right? One, two. That was already did two of that one, right? One. Hang on. So it's either two or uh, three or four. Look like, oh yeah, it's four. So it's four of each. But wow, look at that pink and the and the butterfly. So I'm sure, I bet you it coordinates with the butterfly in the front so you can dimensionalize that. And I love that thought. So uh, there's butterflies all over. Look at that, look at these irises. This is just, just, just amazingly, really, 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 really gorgeous. I'm just like drooling. <sighs> look at that. With that blue and that yellow, the only way it could be more perfect, she obviously this is really strong because it's spring. So it's really strong in the tulips. It could only be better and probably more appropriate if it were sunflowers. And then look at her flourishes. Flourishes are nothing short of amazing. Look at that, just that shiny gorgeousness. Now, are they all, they're probably more than likely all the same in my opinion, but I could be wrong. So we'll go through them really, really quickly. But yeah, oh no, yeah, they are. They're all the same. And that's okay. Because they're just the added touch to your or what's going to already be a gorgeous, gorgeous cheater card. Because to me, this is I you know, and every time I give one of these cards away, people just absolutely go crazy. And to me, they're all I, I feel like I'm almost cheating because you really she does all the work for you. She gives you all the beautiful pieces. There is no way you can't make a gorgeous card with this stuff. I mean, it's just impossible in my humble or not so humble opinion. So let's put these things. Okay. If it came in the box, it has to fit in the box, but boy, these are a tight fit. And then the envelopes and the car bases, which is like, Oh my gosh, I really want to paw these up. And then these are, this is an inner. So she gives you a stack of these. So this is where you can put your sentiment. You can write your little note, but look how adorable. These are just super cute. Soup and I just a gold. They just it's not that they're super cute. They're for lack of a better term, so professionally done. This you know it's like and she came from the stationary world, so this is where she gets it from. But these are not just you know you know we've all seen the gold that is not so crisp and sharp and you know it's you know for lack of a term maybe sloppy. I I don't know, but this look at that that is. You can see the detail and it's pretty small. You can see the detail in these and that's Anna Griffin. You get, say what you want to say about her prices, but you get what you pay for. There is, it's just amazing. And then of course she included the sentiments that you can put on the, I'm assuming they go on the front of the card because your little, that little square is going to go on the inside. So you have all of these bunches of just, you know, happy birthday, Sending love and hugs. That is cool. Sending you love and hugs. So all kinds. Get well so you can make any kind. You are the best. 
to you, friend. Just awesome. Just always. There's no way. Always done. This one is, oh, it's a little bent, but that's okay. Because we know the cure of that is I could just take it and unbend it. I can literally undo this and then take my, uh, oh my goodness, my Teflon um, bone folder. Not quite. It's not the word I'm looking for, but anyway, it is. And I can get that right out. So, in fact, I will probably do that on camera when I do one of these cards. I'll show you. I will purposely pick one of these mangled ones like this one. This one. Wow. Really took a beating. And I can bring, I can give it life again. And they will never know. So, they're just, all of these are just really, 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 really cool. Just the bestish. So, let me now try to tuck these all back into the bag so I don't have a huge mess and... Hopefully the one that is already kind of sort of damaged doesn't get more damage. And oh look, what was in that bag? I no longer know what was in that bag. Was it the cards? Something was in that bag. Eek. What came in that bag? I have a bag here. Does anybody know what came in that bag? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I know. Okay. It's the flat cards on the bottom. So you can guys can stop yelling at me. I figured it out. And here's my little sheet. And of course it comes in the really pretty, pretty, pretty box. And we'll close up the pretty, pretty box, and we're going to move on to the next box. Because I have got two more boxes ugh, to open up. So let's take and use our friend, the Amazon tool, provided by generously provided by Amazon and the Peanut Gallery. Ugh, and open up this box. This is where I love this thing, really, and open up the centers. I don't feel like I'm risking my finger as much. We'll take that, my next sheet, for in case I want to return something which will sometimes happen if I've not been paying attention to my auto ships. And we'll take this box and we're going to send it fly. Let's see if we can make it. No. I Guys, I'm, I'm not feeling the basketball love today. It is not happening. What is this? It is H-M-A-R-22-O3-A-S. Mm -hmm. I could have looked at my piece of paper and told you already. But I, I, I'm like a little kid. I want to be surprised with everything I know is coming, but I'd forgotten it was coming. What is, oh, these. These were the, the ones from Crafter. See, it's like from month to month, I change which company I have not been. I've been kind of laying back on Crafters for a while, for a few months now. But this time, Crafters, it was Crafters and Anna really for the win. Diamond Press has been getting me lately. These are the, um, the Creator cards. So they are, you can tell they're dimensional. Easel cards. There we go. My goodness, I can't even think about what it says, but I should look somewhere. It should say, but it doesn't. It's okay. Create a shaped card, but they're both, and they, and they, I can't remember if these are on an auto ship or not. I believe so. And this might be the one I'll go through this. Cause I know that I didn't want all of them. I'm pretty sure this is on an auto ship too, but I wanted these, these two because hearts, because well for Valentine's and butterflies, well, because butterfly, you all know that, you know, butterfly, I just, you know, I just have a weakness for butterflies are amongst my things. Butterflies and gnomes are like the top of my list of things that I love. Oh my goodness. And you're going to find that out in the, in this, you'll see it from in my scrapbooking made simple order. So these for sure will not be going back because I already knew I really wanted these. I was like, that was like on the top of my order. And these are really, that's a big, I mean, look at my hand. That's how big of a card it makes. That's a big butterfly. I'm like, wow. And it has one, two, three, four dies, but it does. Do I have anything in here as an extension? Nope. But that's what you can see. So, you know, you can cut the back. So that largest die, if we're going to look against here, this background right here, the white background that you see, that's going to be this largest die right here, this one. And then the inner one that you would do with your pattern paper is going to be that second one. And then you're going to, so then this is, you're going to use your second one and this one that does the filigree to do this top. But you also have the die because you're going to, you can make this, this screams, I mean, you can do it with pattern paper in the back. You know what it screams to me because you guys can hear the siren song of Shaker Card. You, I know you hear it. You have to because if I hear it, you guys have to be hearing that siren song. So, I mean, this screams. And you can do both an easel and make it a shaker. That would be cool. I'm down for that. And then you get the little tiny butterfly here and you use it as the stoppers 
for the easel card. So you still have space in them inside, or you can just, there's no rule that says that we have to write our sentiment on the inside of the card. You can write it on the back. Why not? It's just there, blank space for the writing so that they see all the beauty of the card. So I'm going to open both up just so you guys can see them because I do not believe these sold out. I could be wrong. I will link you down below. Unfortunately, I'm doing this on the day that they did a crazy sale today because it is National Women's Day. Apparently, we are now important enough to get our own day. And um, all of the any any of the products or certain products from companies that were led by women were on sale today, you know, for like 25% off on HSN. And of course, Crafters Companion and Anna Griffin made the cut. Because, of course, women have run both, you know, or started those companies and are the force behind those companies. So this is the heart one. So, again, the same principle as I just explained, and it comes with a couple of flourishes even better. So you can see, I mean, all of it. But, again, the big the big heart cuts out the base, and then you can do your paper. I mean, in, in multiple layers it doesn't have this heart, but come on, guys. We all have a ton of heart dies. I know I do now. So we can do, you know, a sentiment put, excuse me, on the inside of a heart. But look how beautiful that is. And then, of course, the little tiny heart is your stopper right here. And I have no idea where you would add flourishes to something that is already that flourishy. But you know what? Or you can dimensionalize that flourish. So there is that thought, too. So. There you go. Major, major, major coolness. This is this is just really major coolness and major badness all over. It's like, we're just going to add this to the pile of stuff. And hopefully now, I'm not sure. It's like either I'm not going to get this organization of the scrap room done or <laughs> I'm going to get crafting done because I'm trying to get both done. I don't know how that's going to happen. I think so. I think these videos are going to get broken down into sections because you guys haven't even seen the tour of the before. I need to get that edited. But I had kind of intentions of doing that while I was in Tahoe and really never had time to do it because really, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I did get one up. So I want you, I want credit for that. Okay. That I did think enough about you guys to get that up. I, that was, I got that up in a record time. Okay. We're just going to leave that in here. We're going to pull out our little shipping slip and add it to the pile there. We are going to I have no idea what this is. Oh, these are the layered rose dies. Okay. So that's the last of the crafting. I, there is no way. Bingo! Three points. I did it. That last one landed in the box even with the flap closed. Yay! Ha -ha. Okay, I know I'm crazy. We will let that go there. But I know it's the little things that give us joy. Like snow falling on you for the first time in your life when you're, you know, getting old and decrepit like I am. Is there anything else in here? No. So put that in the trash can that is already full. So these are the layered rose dies and i had to make a decision because I, I had this trip coming up so i couldn't spend all my money so i had to balance what i wanted with knowing that i would be you know spending money and nothing else just on food holy cow uh feeding us so um we i got so like of the two rose dies because it was the also the other die that goes to the finishing school i'm 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 99 sure that did not sell out and I had an inkling it wasn't going to, so I didn't buy it. I bought this one because I felt this one made the prettier roses. And I, because I thought I could use that because once you run out of the inserts, then you can make your own roses to do those bouquets. So, but I will, and this is a comment. I was just today watching, like I did it during lunch, watch the video for VNA. On this and I with her have the same problem with these dies just based on her review because I do all to new I have all to new dies and you have the layers all put together so how do you do the paper to this you would have to literally cut the papers I mean either you cut them all the same and you you're gonna be kind of sort of wasting paper or you cut your pieces down to that size and you're kind of sort of wasting paper I mean, I, I like it when I can cut, because I tend to cut, remember how my rule is, if you're going to make a cut, you know, cut one, cut four. So this, and that's the only way this works, I'll be honest with you, is if you're going to go in the kind of sort of production mode, like I do, 
but that sometimes backfires with you because otherwise you take a Ziploc bag of cards from Valentine's that you haven't finished yet and they're still not finished. So they will, we're supposed to go see Steve's mom on Thursday. So they'll probably go to with, with, go with me there and we'll watch something on her brand spanking new OLED TV and I will work on those cards. Huh? Not an OLED. Oh, it isn't? No. Oh, I'm sorry. It's really fancy and really cool though, despite that. <laughs> <laughs> but I will probably, you know, but that's about, but otherwise you're facing and I would, I'm going to link her via her, her review of these. So if you're contemplating them, I want you to watch that and I will do one as well, but she does, she's, you know, if you want instant, you know, more faster review, watch her video, but I'm going to agree with her on this, but it makes these amazingly beautiful roses. So, and that is I, you know, it, you just, I mean, I love them. So I got them because I do, you know, right behind sunflowers is my favorite, favorite flower. Okay. Just so you know that, but for card making right behind sunflowers is roses. I do like those. So I have a couple of stamp sets. I don't think I have a rose set from Alta New yet, but it explains here. So I'm going to have to watch her video and go through these instructions as well to see how to put this together because I agree with VNA, with how she does her cards. When I do a layered thing, and it's I haven't done a lot of them, but my 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 eyes want to go from dark to light. That's the where my eyes. And she does a little bit of mixing and matching. Yeah, I, that's not my taste. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong. It's just now how my eyes want to work. So take that with you wish. But I am not unhappy. I got these and. I took a pass on the other one. Doesn't mean I won't acquire them. I'm just not going to acquire them yet. And the only reason I would is because they have the die that cuts the insert to do more of those. So if I want to do more of those cards, and it might be, then I need to have the, that die set. But I'm like, okay, I'm willing to risk a 20% off coupon day. And they've been having them week. I've been seeing them every week right now. So, um, it, so again, I can't tell you enough. If you're not on their list get on their email list. Um, and guys, oh no, there's two more. Hang on. Oh my God. These are all either. Uh, I have no idea at this point. They're auto ships or orders. So let's find out what they are. But yeah, it was a whole, I mean, you couldn't sit in my chair because they were all piled. Then the big box was piled in front of my chair and then everything else was in the chair. <laughs> it was like already then. I guess I got a lot of mail this week. Oh wait, I've got a little piece of stuff there and that's kind of I think keeping it from working very well or it just doesn't like this envelope it just doesn't like this envelope I think it's because of the tape so this might be the time the tool fails me but shh don't tell peanut gallery he's right there and I have to I have to scissor this envelope oh these are the banner dies so these are the banner stamp and dies so those are the dies which you can cut both the paper I'm thinking and well, I don't think you can cut a gold or I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out because I would like to cut a gold piece behind, but I really think these only fit literally. So you would have to, that cuts out just that piece on all. it doesn't mean that you can't layer it anyway. You're just not going to have the gold background, which I have visualized. Although I'm going to try a trick, guys, because I have not been pulling out my minks. I'm, I'm explaining my, my brain idea right now because I'm fortunate enough that I have a laser printer right next to me. So I am thinking, work with me here, I am thinking I can, um, oh my goodness, stamp this out and then print and stamp it on card or print it on paper, actually stamp it on paper, copy or scan it because this thing is a copy or scanner. And then print it on laser, on my laser printer, on cardstock. Dot, and then I can run it through my mink because that's what you need to be mink. Uh, the, if you have a mink, the mink will only stick to toner. And then I can have my sentiment and or just that this outlining in gold, which is the effect I'm trying to acquire. So we're going to do this in the next week or so. I'm going to combine this with, you know, the Anna Griffin. And we're going to test my theory out. So this will be a multi-stepper. But I did get the banner dies with all of these awesome little sentiments. I've been trying to collect some of her, the, just the difference so that I can not always be buying this stuff. It's like she's giving me the tools. Now it's like she's getting to the point 
where I, you know, I, I'm not getting as much because a lot of it I have. So it's hit and miss. It doesn't seem that way, but really there's a method to my madness. It is not just always madness. I know, I know. Consider the source. But there you go. Okay, the last, the last one. Can I open it this way? No, I'm just going to cut it open because that there's no way the tool, the or the yellow tool of power, will do this. So we're just going to open it up this way. This I know this video is going insanely long. So that last package from Scrapbooking Made Simple is going to go on its own review because it's super late anyway for what I got, and more will be explained in that video. Oh my goodness! You know what? Why don't I just do this? Good Lord! In the morning. What are you? You are in a... Oh, the clock dies. Did you guys see the clock dies? Did you guys not see the clock dies? Where were you guys? Were you not? Were you sleeping? You didn't see the clock dies? Those clock dies were flipping amazing. Even the peanut gallery went... Oh. Of course, he's, he's almost a girl. He's almost, you know... We just need to get him on the program to be doing stuff with me. Because he's also my greatest enabler. But that is the clock die. It had to be acquired because I do love things steampunk. I love that. And he does too. And I've already seen amazing things show up on the Anna Griffin fan and the fans of Anna Griffin Facebook group. And somebody literally made a clock with it, of course, but this, and it wasn't that expensive. This was really, really inexpensive. I, if I remember correctly, I think this is only 20 bucks. So for an Anna Griffin, and it is one, two, three, four, five, and the two arms, so six, seven. Seven dies, and it just makes amazingness. And I'm just not realizing, if you guys are hearing this crazy filtering noise, that's that I need to add water to the beta's tank. So I apologize for the background noise. But look at that. Look how just the amazing, just all of the different, using different pieces from making, using all the layers and making the focal look with the, the, the roses to an all different permutations. Here's a little one, you know, like a baby card. There you go. Tea time, four o'clock, tea time. Just, you can use in different in layers to do whatever. So total, that's just the back of it. So that is total awesomeness. So this I can wine and dine and combine with some of the stuff that I owe you. You know what? This Wouldn't this look cool? I wonder if I could do it with one of the, even if it's the smaller section, with the, the carte noir. We're going to see because I do need to do that. I need to play with that for you guys. So, um, but anyway, guys, we are. there's going to be some major playing here going on. And I so we're going to try to get these done and cranked out as soon as possible. Um, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. All right, there was a lot in this video. I ha I'm going to just shut down for a minute. I'm going to start it on the other one because it's that one's going to take a lot longer, and this is already long enough. But again, thanks for hanging out with me. If you love this stuff, then by all means, if you feel all that nature, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment. I'm well, I'm probably behind by a day now cuz I didn't look at the videos from yesterday. I haven't had a chance to get up, catch up on my comments, but I'll do that later on tonight. And if you want to see more of this madness and lore people with all of this stuff, if I have not convinced you that I'm crazier than a March hare, then you are nuttier than I am, okay? And that is saying a lot. But if you want to see more of this madness, then by all means subscribe and ring the bell and you will see me come back, all right? And, and I look forward to it. This is, I love doing this. All right, guys. So until the next one, okay, go out there, craft your heart out. And don't forget, we are all a little mad here. So come craft the madness with me. All right. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.